Okay then, one of the ethical theories that we will discuss um, this afternoon is utilitarian theory. This is designed by uh, or uh, authored by Jeremy Bentham. So what is utilitarianism? Utilitarianism is a consequentialist moral theory. What do you mean by that? Right and wrong is determined by the overall goodness or the utility or the benefits of the consequences of action. It states that the ultimate standard of what is morally right is dependent on the greatest amount of good for the greatest number of people. That is, there is no specific standard of right because it depends on the circumstances and resultant consequences. They value the principle of utility. What is that? Alternatively called the greatest happiness principle or the GHP. It usually characterized as the ideal of working towards the greatest happiness of the greatest number. As we all say, we should act always as to produce the greatest good for the greatest number. Most utilitarian, uh, utilitarians believe that people are naturally sympathetic and concerned with promoting the happiness of others as well. What counts is not just our happiness, but also the happiness of the whole community. It also supports the concept of the ends justify the means. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay kung ano man ang magiging desisyon mo sa isang bagay na gagawin mo, dapat ang magiging resulta nito ay nakabubuti sa mas nakararami. I'll give you an example in sports, no? Um, there are times, no, we have to face this reality. There are times that your coach is in the opposite sex. Now, in a female uh, team sport, now, for example, women's volleyball team, you do have a, a male coach. Well, um, there are times the coach is uh, sort of um, having this relationship, no? with very close relationship with with one of those female uh, of his female uh, players or athletes sabi nga nila pag puso na yung uh, uh, nagdikta wala ka nang magagawa kung hindi sundin ito no but in uh, ethical uh, uh, theories no we have to consider the utilitarian uh, uh, factor okay of this decision making no with respect to relationship inside or in between the coach and the athlete no so how do we view that in the utilitarian theory from a utilitarian point of view the greatest happiness for the greatest number of people would have to be served by a special relationship between a coach and a player Utilitarianism would discourage the type of relationship as such because it would not serve the good of the entire team. If the coach gave one player on a team special treatment, the rest of the team would feel alienated from the coach and therefore not be happy. Then therefore, the greatest happiness principle is not being followed. Kaya guys, no, as future coaches, you really have to have limitations being a coach to your athletes and controlling the relationships in such level only. Okay? That's it for the utilitarian theory. See you in the next video.